Hello, my name is Sean with Tintman Window Tinting. This is our Winter Park location. Today we're going to demonstrate 3M Crystalline 40 against Formula 1 Stratus 40. I got them side by side just so you can kind of see what they look like side by side on something white. The 3M Crystalline 40 looks slightly darker to me, but this meter is going to tell us. So that top number tells us how many UVs are coming through, and then the middle number exactly how dark it is and then we'll switch to the infrared after that so first 3M crystalline 40 this is reading that it's letting in 0% of the ultraviolet rays and 39% of the light making it a very true 40% tint very close to it now we're going to try the Formula 140. Also letting in only, uh, actually there's no ultraviolet rays, it's a zero also. Uh, but this is a little bit lighter than the other one. This is letting in 45% of the light. So it's a little bit lighter than the 3M Crystalline 40. Now, the IRs. So people get confused. This middle number, basically the best way to say it is when you hear people say it rejects up to this much infrared rejection, they could use either one of these numbers really. Um, but the difference between the two are these wavelengths. And this wavelength is what you're going to feel first when the sun is coming through the window and onto your arm. This one is going to be when you're stuck in traffic uh, so in other words, this one's like the first minute, and then this is after that minute. Let's see how they compete. Lower the number, the better. According to this particular meter, the infrared rejection is up to 99%. So I'm letting in 1% of the infrared on, um, on that one minute. You know, again, the sun coming through the window and onto your arm and then 13 after that minute so that is a very impressive number that used to be the highest heat rejection film out there and then uh, Formula One their best film used to be Pinnacle now it's Stratus to compete with the Crystalline so for this one it's letting in 4% of the infrared heat uh, for that first minute and then 7% after that first minute. So it depends on your driving habits. So obviously these are both really good films. I'd be curious to put the Formula 1 Stratus 35 against the Crystalline 40 just because of how dark that measured. The Stratus 40 measured really light. But that's one of the beauties of Stratus versus Crystalline is that it comes in your typical shades. So crystalline, the darkest used to be 40, and now it's 20, but there's nothing in between. Whereas the Formula One, you have 35, 30, and 15. It does not go darker than 15. However, the Pinnacle does go down to 5% limo. So I would say both films are great films. You know, it just depends on what else you want to consider, including the color, the shade, the warranty. Now, I don't know about 3M, but on the Formula One, you have to be a select pro dealer to be allowed to sell it. I don't know if 3M, if just anybody can sell it or not. I, I'm just not sure about that. And I also don't know if their warranty is good as Formula One, because the Formula One is not only lifetime and nationwide, but it's also transferable and it has an accidental warranty. So we prefer Formula One due to the different colors, shades, the large network throughout the country for its lifetime warranty. And as a center, it's also easier to work with. You can learn more about our window tinting services at tentmanfl.com.